Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Monday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, S&P 500, E-mini futures, daily chart. And you see on Friday we made another high, another all-time high at 20.33 half. What's interesting about last night's trade is that we traded as low as 20.21, which matched up fairly closely with the Friday Globex low at 20.20 half. So my principal concern right now, especially if I was short, and I do have a very small swing short going based mostly upon the uh, the distance between the 45-day pivot and price, which has reached a, a, a duration as far as time goes that is basically unprecedented. But... The important thing is, and the important thing for this week is, th th this week is about finding the next floor in the market, the next higher low, the next higher low that takes us to new highs. So, you know, yes, I have a small short going, but the goal of my short is to be short, still do things intraday long and short, while the market figures out where the next floor is going to be because we can't really go much farther without coming up with another floor. Now, as I wake up to this this morning, instantly my thought is, is 20 slash 21, 20 to 21, the new floor. If it is, then the bears are in for a long week. And I won't hesitate to cut this thing. I'm short 20, 29. I won't hesitate to cut it. Um, and if 20, 2020 to 2021 is the new floor, it should get a fairly decent test in the regular session today, if not a full test. If it holds, if 20 to 21 holds, then you have to have an eye towards getting long there, uh, looking again towards new highs. If it breaks, then we can get back into, um, you know, looking for potentially, you've got the Thursday low uh, down at 2010.75, 20, 2004, of course, you got the round number. Our last floor was way back, 59 to 62. So to do essentially 70 some handles without establishing a new floor is, it's unlike the market, even for the uptrend. The uptrend is all based on floors and um, we are due to find another floor. So 20 to 21 is an area that we need to watch today very closely. It's an area that if it holds, um, I would be uh, leaning much more towards doing something on the long side versus the short side. If it breaks, then you have to back away on the long side and see where the market wants to find a floor. Is there anything happening on the chart macro-wise that suggests that, that this market has topped and it's going to roll over? Nope. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So, you know, and it goes to the old adage that I tell you guys, getting... Going short just because we're up a lot is not a reason to go short. Trying a small short because we're in excess of 60 handles from the 40 to 45 day pivot for, for five sessions, you can try something small there. Um, but there's a lot of people that have tried something short in this entire area here, and they're all very much underwater. And the way, the reason that floors get created in the market is there's a certain equilibrium point here where a lot of these trapped folks, the ones that don't just dump it, get back to even and then, you know, pray, you know, swear to the trading gods that they'll never do it again. Somewhere in there, at that point, tends to be the floor. That's where the dip buyers come back. That's where the shorts, you know, um, take their hit or get back to even and get out. And then the, then the bulls control again. So, but you have to be disciplined. You have to be disciplined. The last thing I'll say before I go is that the Russell continues to lead 
and the Russell is basically trying to find a floor and, and maintain a floor at the 1160 to 1161 level. And because that's still the, you know, because it's still leading, then I start to look for, well, where is, um, where's the ES going to find a floor? The Russell's already bouncing off its floor. So the 20 to 21, that may be the floor. So uh, keep an eye on that. Okay, everybody have a great day. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the website, princetontrader.com. Come check out the chat room. It's a great time to start. We're early in the month. Tons of trials, tons of new members, lots of people to work with and learn with. And uh, we would love to meet you. Don't forget this Thursday, I'm doing a webinar with Bob Lang over at explosiveoptions.net. Uh, check out uh, the uh, check out my Twitter. Check out his Twitter at Aztecs99 or ExplosiveOptions.net for the sign up link. There should be a lot of fun. Hope to see everybody there. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trading well.